Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to my tutorials. Today we're gonna add some pale grass into our grass material without having any repetition effect. Just do it! First, let's head into the material editor where you already did your grass. If you didn't use a composite material, add one and link your bitmap to layer 1. Then open up Photoshop and drag the bitmap used to change its color. Go to the effects and add a color balance. I'm gonna turn the bitmap from green to a, a pale yellow reddish color. Add also a hue uh, and saturation and slightly drag down the hue. Now save the new bitmap so we can use it in 3ds max now drag the new bitmap and drop it in the material editor go to the composite uh, material add a new layer and link the new bitmap to layer 3 now we do realize that the whole material uh, changed its color. To fix that, we will be adding a mask. You will just have to play with the mask settings to get what you want if you pick a mask from 3ds Max such as Dent, Noise or Smoke Mask. But there is always the option to choose your own bitmap from outside of 3S Max. Now here's a trick when working with masks guys, uh, just add a V-Ray light material and link the mask to it so you can see clearly where your mask is gonna appear. Drag your V-Ray light to the object and you will see in the interactive rendering uh, where your mask is appearing. I just increased the uh, output amount to have a more relevant change in the material. Now redrop your material to your object and ta-da! You have two colors of grass without any repetition. And that would be it guys. The only step left is liking the video. Please go ahead and like the video. Click down below. Yeah, click. Now thank you all for watching, don't forget to click the big red button down below, that would help me a lot, thank you guys.